Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Amber. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I have a fast and efficient core workout for you. It's gonna be super good and a little bit sweaty. So if you are ready, grab your mat and some water and I'll see you in just a moment. All right, my friends, so we are actually gonna begin in a tabletop position with your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Inhale, arch your back, look up. Exhale to round. Inhale, arch, spread your collarbones. Exhale, round. One more time, inhale, arch your back. And exhale, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone. Coming to a neutral spine, tuck your toes underneath and lift your knees off the ground. So you're just hovering your knees, pressing down through your hands, Spread your shoulder blades. You're gonna start feeling your whole body talk to you here. Holding for three, for two, and one. Awesome, bring your knees down. Keep your toes tucked. Walk your hands forward just a bit and lift your hips up and back into your downward facing dog. Fingers are spread wide. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Your feet are about hips distance and you're lifting your hips up and back. Take a few breaths here. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out. On your next inhale, I want you to come forward into your plank position. Exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. Again, inhale forward into your plank. Exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. One more time, inhale into your plank. This time we're gonna hold our plank, making sure that your shoulders are over your wrists. Draw your navel towards your spine, really push the mat away from you. Holding for five for four, three, two, and one. Take it back into your downward facing dog. Awesome job, you guys. Now I'd like you to step your feet together and inhale, extend your right leg back behind you. Bend your knee and bring that knee into your chest as you come forward into your plank. Hold here for just a moment. Tap your right knee to your right elbow. Back to center, bring it to your left. Back to center and take it back into your three-legged dog. Awesome job. This time bring it into your chest, round forward, really round, push the mat away from you and step that foot up in between your hands. Spin your back heel down and line up your right heel to your left arch, circling your arms up into your warrior two. Bending into that right knee, arms are extended out to the sides. Lengthening through your spine. Now I'd like you to straighten your front knee and begin to reach your right arm forward, almost like you're coming into a triangle pose. Stay here, keep your right arm extended and reach your left arm up and overhead. So you're reaching towards the side. Think of spinning your rib cage up a little bit so you're not collapsing in your shoulder. Inhale, exhale back into your warrior two. And we're gonna do that one more time. If you're absolutely dying, you can just 
um, reach your arms a little bit more up towards the ceiling instead. So again, inhale, reach forward, send your left hip back and reach that left arm up and overhead. You're gonna feel that left oblique start to talk to you. Embrace it, breathe into it, inhale. Exhale, back into your warrior two, good job. Take a big inhale here, find length in your spine. Exhale, circle your hands down to frame your foot and step back into that plank position and take it back into your downward facing dog. Take a moment here, reconnect with your breath. And let's step our feet together and extend our left leg up and out. Bend your knee, bring it into your chest as you come forward into plank and tap your left knee to your left elbow. Center, tap it to the right and take it back into your three-legged dog. Awesome job. Bend your knee, round forward, round, 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 and step that foot up in between your hands. Spin your back heel down and windmill your arms up. Warrior two on the other side. Pressing into the pinky toe edge of your back foot. Inhale, extend your front leg, reach your left arm forward and reach your right arm up and overhead. Couple breaths here. Come back into that warrior two, good job. We've gotta do that one more time. Inhale, extend your front leg, reach and reach your right arm up and over. Whew, I feel it too. You're doing amazing. One more breath. And let's come back into your warrior two. Inhale, exhale, bring your hands down to frame your foot. Step back into your plank and take it back, downward facing dog. Woo, good job you guys. Holding here for a couple breaths. Come down to our hands and knees and you're gonna make your way into a seated position. Your soles of your feet are gonna be flat on the mat, making sure both sit bones are grounded and bring your hands behind you so your fingers are pointed towards your body. Begin to lean back a little bit, engage your core, draw your navel towards your spine, knit your ribs together. Lift your chest, inhale, and on your exhale, bring your feet off your mat, coming into that boat pose. Now you can stay here with your hands grounded, or if you'd like to challenge yourself a little bit more, reach your hands forward. Think of lifting your chest, drawing everything in and up. Couple more breaths here. You've got this, maybe smile. Awesome job, cross your legs, plant your hands down in front of you and step back into one more plank. Trying your best here not to let your hips droop or lift too much. You wanna think of drawing a straight line from your head to your heels. Push the mat away from you. We're just gonna hold for 10, nine, eight, Seven, you got this, spread your shoulder blades. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, shift forward so that you're on your tippy toes. You can bring your knees down if you'd like or stay on your toes and lower with control all the way down to your mat, all the way down, nice and slow. And bring your right ear down to your mat. Bring your hands to your sides. Palms are facing down. Take a couple breaths here.
Now I'd like you to bring your forehead to your mat. So this is gonna be, gonna be an awkward position for just a second. Keeping your hands planted down by your sides. Your feet are about hips distance. On your inhale, I want you to lift your head and your chest, pressing down through your hands. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Find a slight tuck in your chin. Inhale, lift a little bit higher. Exhale, release, bring your left ear down to your mat. And I'm gonna keep my forehead down so you guys can hear me. Now we're gonna take our locust pose one more time. And this is really important because anytime that you work your abdominal muscles, you also wanna make sure that you work the muscles in your back so that you're creating balance. These muscles, they work in harmony. They all work together. So you wanna make sure that when you strengthen one, you work on strengthening the other as well. So once again, bring your forehead to your mat. Your palms are pressing into your mat. Inhale, lift your head, lift your chest. And if you'd like, go ahead and lift your hands off your mat and maybe lift your feet as well. Firming your outer glutes in. You don't wanna clench your glutes. That's not gonna feel good on your back. Lift, 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 lift a little higher. Inhale, exhale all the way down. Bring your forehead to your mat. And let's bring our hands right under our armpits. Inhale, push down through your hands and the tops of your feet. Come up into a cobra. You can keep a micro bend in your elbows here, leaving your thighs resting on your mat. Come back down, forehead to your mat. Move your hands back just a little bit more. And inhale, let's come up into our upward facing dog. Press down through the tops of your feet to lift your thighs off your mat. Spread your collarbones, pull your shoulder blades down. Bring your knees down to your mat and take it back into a child's pose, knees together. Your hands are reaching for the top of your mat. Bring your forehead down. Awesome job, you guys. You did so good. And take a moment here to find some gratitude for yourself, for the work that you just did. Working your core is so important. It'll help you in balancing postures, when you start to work on inversions. If you have low back pain, core work can really help relieve some of that pain. The list goes on. It's so good for you. And when you're ready, go ahead and walk your hands back towards your body, coming up into a seated position. Bring your hands to your heart in your Anjali Mudra and bow down to your hands, thanking yourself for doing something amazing for your body. I hope this practice leaves you feeling a little more happy and a little more healthy. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. Thanks again, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.